Hey everybody, this is Randy the Wild Horse, and this is one of my late grandfather, Thomas Evanson Lycan, or Tori is, is his first name in Norwegian. Okay, I'll show you some more what he has. Okay, um, here's the State Department of Rural Credit. All right, 1937. You're going to I should get a different video camera that's better, actually. 20... 21 22nd Avenue South. That building, I'm sure, isn't there anymore. Okay. State Bank of Minnesota Department of Commerce. Banking Division, St. Paul. Tommy Lycan, Route, Route 4. Sabika. This was in St. Paul. Receipt for Mortar Vehicle Operations License Fee. This was my late grandfather Thomas's license. It costed him a large sum of 25 cents in payment to motor vehicle operation license fee and the further sum of 10 cents as the service fee for the undersigned. So it was 35 cents. And it was signed by Fred Claydon, dated 1934. Okay, Wadena County District Court. If it's not notified in 10 days, go to the Highway Department. State of Minnesota Department of Rural Credit in St. Paul. And uh, this was dated 2 7 1936. All right. $1.60, an authorized loan. Tom and Hadina like and it's rain Dina my grandmother okay Well as you see when my grandfather came to the United States from Norway he didn't become rich or anything I uh, struggled but, uh, Did they enjoy living in the United States? Yeah My grandmother did no always well, She was like my uncle and they both love the American flag. Oh, well, especially my late Uncle Ed. Oh, oh, every day. Yeah, there. To most people, they wave the flag once a year on the Fourth of July. Ed waved it every day of his life. Mm -hmm. Okay, seven months and two days. I count. Okay. Twenty nineteen, a Street South. That's no longer there. I know that. All right, and this was in 1925. Okay. Ten dollars and nineteen cents. First Bank of Sabika in Sabika, Minnesota. Oh, I did. Okay, this part here. Tommy Lycan, Samika, Minnesota, October 1st, 1929. All right. This is the loan that he took out at 200 and some dollars. Remember, back in 1929, 200 and some dollars was big money. Oh, man. Survived it. Barely, I'll tell you that. Of course, that's when families used to help each other a lot more than they do now. Well, as you know right now, everybody's on their social media stuff. Uh, you know, yours truly, too. But <laughs> Okay, this is another loan. A division, 7-4th, 1930. Apply First Bank, State Bank, Sabika. Dear sir, we're in closing... 15% on your claim against the First State Bank of Sabika. 
Further dividends will be paid as soon as sufficient funds are collected. Oh boy. Huh. Yeah, imagine that. He didn't get the money unless the bank collected. They were behind in paying him. Here's the loan statement. Oh, Herman Hawkinson. Uh, okay. Well, this is not my grandfather's, but Hawkins State Bank, knowing all men by these presents. Okay. It's a banking corporation of Wisconsin. Tommy Lichen. This is spelled with two K's, ladies and gentlemen. See that? Sometimes spelled it with one. Date of July of 1919. Hawkins State Bank owes a typo. Yeah, it's the trouble with this camera. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I wish I could do a better job at this, I'll tell you. I'm just not very good at this. 1920, okay. All these people signed in presence, so they have witnesses in court. Okay. State Bank of Russ County. I guess my grandfather did get loans pretty often. August of 1920. It's like 95 years ago. Notary Republic of Russ County, Wisconsin. My commission expires 225. Two Ks on this one. Oh, well, I hope. Uh, Hope our ancestors don't own this bank money because I'll tell you with all that interest of all those years <laughs> this will be all for today ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed the stuff I've showed you as much as I've enjoyed telling you so this is Randy Wild Horse and see ya